Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you clicking on the video. I hope while you're here, you'll give this channel a chance. Make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn up the notification bell. That way you can get notified of any and all future uploads. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. That really means a lot to me. It helps out my channel. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy seeing my content. And if you wouldn't mind, leave a comment, say hi. Let me know that you stopped by, introduce yourself. I would love to hear from you. Today's video is Get Ready With Me Wednesday. I do this every week with my girl cat down in Florida. Hey girl, hey! <laughs> We've been doing this for over a year now for anybody that's new because I have gotten a few new family members recently so we've been doing this for over a year now and I enjoy it very much I hope that you guys will go over to her channel it's always linked down below in my description box go show her some love she's amazing I love seeing her videos the looks that she does hearing about her week things that she's done um, so without further ado let's get into the video we'll see what palette we're gonna use okay guys i'm back we are going to use a palette that i got in one of my busy beauty store pr boxes i think this might have been june's pr box may or june May or June, I got this palette in my PR box, so we're gonna use it today. I went through a bunch of my palettes um, in my Mask Monday video, and I wanted to try and get some use out of them. Although, you know, there's only so many days in a week, so many weeks in a month, so, you know, trying to get all of these palettes in is, well, we'll give it a good shot. We'll give it a good go. So this is what the palette looks like. It's just a little five pan palette. Those are the colors that are inside. And forgive what's going on here. I have spent the last four days um, going through my clothes, going through my drawers, cleaning underneath my bed, rearranging. Actually, this side of my desk, I was gonna move this desk in front of me. And when I was trying to move it, that part broke so I can't move it now it's stuck where it is so I'm trying to make do with what I have going on right here until I can get maybe a new desk or figure it out but hopefully the lighting is okay hopefully it's not awful hopefully you can see okay but you know we're gonna work with this we're gonna work with this now let's see what color I think I'm gonna go in with this color right here and that is I can't read it because I don't have my glasses on. I'll just insert the names and the pictures of the colors when I'm editing. So we're gonna go into this and we're gonna put that. Well, no, 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 no. I changed my mind. We're gonna use this darker color and we're gonna put that down in the crease and then we're gonna use that other color to buff it out. What brush to use? That's the question. I think I'm gonna use this bling brush right here and this is E3. It's an E3 brush. I just got, I had a set of these, but I also bought a set from Barbara's Beauty Bag because she was selling a lot of stuff. And uh, I really loved the bling brushes. And even though I had a set, I really wanted another set. You know what I mean? Because I really like the bling brushes, even though I don't like use them every video because I like, I have a lot of brushes and I like to share the love. But um, this way I can use the set and if one set's dirty, I can use the other set and not have to wash my brushes. Not much really going on this week, except for me rearranging my room and getting rid of a bunch of stuff. I had so many subscription boxes, guys, that I was saving for friend mail, and I don't even know why. When you can get priority, like those mail envelopes, you can get them at the post office for free. You know what I mean? Like, so why, I don't know, why? Why was I saving them all? I had like two FabFitFun boxes. I had like five BoxyCharm boxes, a bunch of Walmart Beauty boxes. Like, what are you doing, Renee? What are you doing? So I just cleaned house, I, I did. I still have a lot to do, but I have recently, found a new strength. I had been putting this kind of stuff off, I guess, 
I didn't even realize that I was doing it and why I was doing it. But finding this new strength that I found, um, it's giving me the want to, to, to do more things now. Um, I don't want to say too much, um, but I don't want you to not understand what I'm talking about either. So it's kind of hard for me to figure out exactly what I can and can't say right now. But the gist of it is, is that when you feel like you don't want to fix things up because they're just going to get destroyed anyway, what's the purpose of putting the money and time into it? I'm getting a toll free call. I wonder what that is. Well, if it's important, I'll leave a message, I'm sure. I'm surprised it didn't cut the video off. Usually it cuts the video off when I get a call. But anyways, back to what I was saying. It's like, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's, it's hard to want to fix things and make things better if they're just gonna get messed up anyway. But recently things have come into place that has made me realize that I don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm going to take my power back. I'm going to take I'm going to take the charge of my life that I need to and I'm going to do the things that I want to, that I need to, and I'm not going to continue to I'm going to go into that lighter color. Spend time being afraid to do those things because of fear of what I might have to deal with making those decisions. You know what I mean? Like Nobody should ever have to feel like that. You know, I'm a pretty, I, I'm a good person. I really am. Am I perfect? No, I've never claimed to be perfect. I make mistakes. I say things wrong. I make wrong decisions, you know, but at the end of it all, I have a good heart. And no matter what, I would take the shirt off my back for somebody if I could. You know what I mean? Like if somebody called me and I hadn't heard from them in six months and they needed help, I would help them if I could. You know, like if somebody needed a ride and I wasn't at work and I didn't have something really important going on, then I would do that for them. If somebody called me up and needed $20 for gas, I would do that because I'm a good person. I have a good heart and I care and I wanna help people out. And the thing about it is, is that there's people that know that about me and they play on that. They take advantage of it. Oh, Renee won't do that, or I can do this, or I can do that, and Renee's not gonna, you know, retaliate or, you know, whatever. And then when if I do, it's like, oh, she's such a horrible person. And and then they they use words to make me feel bad because if there's anything that can hurt me, it's somebody's words, making me feel like I'm not a good person, making me feel guilty. You know, like, all right, I'm gonna go into this middle color right here and I'm gonna put that on the lid. Like, somebody tried to make me feel guilty about my son. Like, that I was, how do I, how do I say this without saying too much? It's hard to find the words, guys, but it's, like saying that I was, somebody had said that I was trying to make my son feel guilty about something, which I, was not my intention. My feelings got hurt about something and I cried and my son saw me cry and um, I was made to feel like I was trying to make him feel guilty. And you know, I understand that in certain aspects you should not let your kids uh, see certain things, you know, see you get angry, see you cry, you know, they should never have to take on the stress or worry that you have going on. You know what I mean? They should be able to live their lives worry free and be kids and not be concerned about bills or, or this or that. You know what I'm saying? You, you understand where I'm trying to get to. Like a kid should not have to take on an adult uh, worry or concern. You know, they shouldn't have to know that there's anything going on. But my son has seen a lot of stuff in his 
17 years that he probably shouldn't have had to see, not just on my side. You know what I mean? I, I hope that what I'm saying is making sense. And, you know, should I have cried in front of him? Probably not. But sometimes as a woman, you know, your emotions get the best of you. And anybody that knows me or has known me for any amount of time really knows that I never go out of my way to do things on purpose to hurt anybody or make anybody feel bad or make anybody feel guilty. And then when I get slapped in the face with that, then it hurts my feelings even more. And it makes me feel even worse because that wasn't my intention. I'm not crying because I feel guilty for doing it. I, I feel, I cry because I feel bad that somebody feels like I did that on purpose. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if any of what I'm saying is making any kind of sense at all. But certain situations happened over the last couple of weeks that have put my life back in my hands instead of me you know being afraid to make certain decisions or choices or plans based on what somebody else might think or might feel you know what I mean I hope this makes sense I think this side looks a little bit darker than this side so I'm gonna have to just tap a little bit of that darker purple in here to kind of match them up. I think I'm gonna use my finger. Hopefully it'll make it show up a little bit better than it did with the brush. I think maybe I should have done a cut crease. It's a little late now though, but that's okay. We're gonna make this work. I have to be presentable today without being overly, you know, makeup-y. I need to look professional because I have something I have to do today and uh, it's coming up pretty quickly so I'm gonna have to hurry up and finish getting ready so I'm not late I'm sorry I can't I, I just don't want to say too much because you know I'm not trying to I don't know if it could come back to bite me in the butt if I say more than I should all right, I think I'm going to go in with, mm -mm -mm. what, where's that brush? Where's that brush? I need this brush and I need these guys, guys. I'm gonna use the spare brush right here. And I'm gonna go into that really dark purple and I'm just gonna dip the brush in a little bit and we're going to place it in the corner here. But anyways, I would appreciate you guys just, you know, sending good vibes my way. By the time you see this video, it'll be done and over with, sort of. There's still something upcoming in about 14 days. So um, any good vibes, I feel like, I feel like things should go my way, at least I hope, you know, I've been through a lot, you know, over the last few years and, you know, I'm tired of making excuses and being okay with something that isn't, isn't okay. It just isn't. And I'm done dealing with it anymore I shouldn't have to this is not working out the way that I want it to why is it underneath my eye and not where I'm placing it you guys this is what the hell is going on right now with my makeup I took today off so that I could deal with this is not going the way I want it to you guys this looks super messy. It's like I was placing the color up here, but somehow it's getting underneath my eye. I don't, that doesn't make any sense. Maybe I need a more condensed brush. Let's try this 
Master Peace Crease MOTD brush. Dip into that dark purple. I just feel like it's not giving me any pigment right now, which is really weird because I've used this palette before and it was, I really love it, you know? I don't know, it's not working out the way that I want it to. That's okay though. We're still gonna make it work. We are still gonna make it work. I'm gonna go into that little bit lighter purple and just kinda blend it in with that darker color. Get underneath my, get my lower lash line as well. I think I'm gonna go in with this first light color here and I'm going to pick some of that up and just tap that on the lid here and then I'm gonna go in with that middle color again and put it on top and see if that makes it pop anymore. And then I gotta do my face and my brows Okay guys, we're going with this. I'm gonna go off, I'm gonna do my face and my brows and everything and I'll come back with the final look and we'll go over everything. So don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I finished my makeup. I used my Believe Beauty foundation and this is in Soft Beige. I used my ELF Camo Concealer. Um, I used my NYX Marshmallow Primer, I love that stuff. Love it, love it, love it. My Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Um, I also used my KVD Cake Pencil for Tight Line. And I used my Avon Eyeliner. This is in the shade Dark Brown for my waterline. I used this AOA Studio Wonder Lip Liner and this is in the shade Famous to line my lips and I use this Ofra lip gloss that I got in my Busy Beauty Store PR box. I think that's all I did. I need to setting spray. I've moved everything around. I don't know where anything is anymore. Oh. I'm gonna use my Matte Fix Plus Awaken setting spray. I got this in a Busy Beauty Store PR box. Okay guys, I always can't figure out how to open this. It's locked. How do I unlock it? Oh, turn it. That's how you do it. All right. How are we looking? What do you guys think? How's this lighting? Like, let me know. I was trying to blend this out a little bit because it looks a little bit darker than this side, but I guess it's okay. We're just gonna go with this. I hope you enjoyed the video. I love you all. Thank you for being here. I hope you have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day it is that you're watching this. I hope you all stay safe and take care. Make sure you go check out Kat. Her link is down below, like I said. I love you, Kat, so much. Thank you for doing another Get Ready With Me Wednesday. I love doing these. Um, so I'm gonna let you guys go. And before I go though, just remember this. Know your worth and know that you're worth more than just settling if that makes sense. But I'm gonna let you guys go. Hopefully this video wasn't too all over the place. Like I said, have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening. And I hope that I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.